Hello students, now we will learn new chapter cell, the unit of life. How can we define a cell? Cell can be defined as structural and functional unit of life. First, a cell was discovered by Robert Hooke in the year 1665 from oak tree bark cells. In case of oak tree, it is having some speciality like it is considered as an evergreen plant. Its leaves will never be shed off. But it will be having very thick bark which has cork cells inside the bark. So, Robert Hooke first discovered the cell, the a dead cell in the cork cells from oak tree. Oak tree botanical name is Quercus plant. So first point we will write Robert Hooke first discovered a cell. That cell is a dead cell in cork cells of bark of oak tree. Its name is Quercus plant. Quercus tree. Now, it means that Robert Hooke did not discover a living cell. He discovered a dead cell. Then who is the person who discovered a living cell? Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek is the person who discovered living cell. Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek discovered a living cell. Later, in 1838, a German botanist, a German botanist, he conducted his studies on plant cells. Studied about plant cell. It was in the year 1838. Name of the person is Matthias Schleden. Next. Simultaneously, in 1839, a British zoologist studied about animal cells. Name of the person is Theodore Schwann. So already some details are given regarding plant cell. What are those details means? Plant cells are covered by a cellulose cell wall. So based on knowledge of presence of cell wall in plants, as a unique character, means as a different character, as a unique feature we write. Feature. Swan proposed, this is an MCQ, who proposed, means Swan proposed that a hypothesis that bodies of plants or animals or plants and animals are composed of cells and products of cells. Here products of cell he considered as for suppose the cell wall in a plant can be considered as the product of a cell. Initially, so first Schleden and Schwann are considered to propose the cell theory or formulated cell theory we can say formulated cell theory but they are unable they failed in explaining 
from how the new cells are formed. But these both, here we will write, but they failed to explain production of new cell. So, in 1855, one person, Rudolf Virko, Rudolf Virko, he explained about cell division and production of new cells. Explained cell divisions and production of a new cells. So, this Rudolf Virko, he modified cell theory by adding one of the point, by adding a Latin phrase. A Latin phrase. What is that Latin phrase? Omnis cellula e cellula. What does it mean? It means that the existing cells are produced from pre-existing cells. This is one important phrase given by given in uh, cell theory. Now, what are some important points in cell theory? So we'll write here: cell theory is based on first point: living cells are made of cells. Second point, all functions in an organism are functions of cells. Now, according to the point given by Rudolf Virchow, the third point was, means now the modification, we said that he modified, means he added a new point. All cells are produced from pre-existing cells. Who gave modern cell biology or who, who contributed modern cell biology? Answer is George Pallet. Modern cell biology, not cell theory, given by George Pallet. What he said, all cells are structural, functional, organizational units and they pass the genetic information and energy within the cells. So, he contributed or he proposed that. Proposed that cells are structural functional organizational units and genetic information and energy is flowed within the cells. So, these are the contributions given by different uh, scientists and, and botanists and zoologists regarding uh, different points.